Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. Today we're doing another video on how to set up the BG UHD VW24 video wall processor. This is a two x two video wall processor. As you can see, we have it a little set up here. We're gonna dive in a little bit on how, to, how we did that. This unit supports up to 4K60 input and you can see it outputs at 4 1080p60 through the HDMI to the TVs here to make that 4K video wall. It also supports two HDMI loop outs for two different sources as you can see right there. It also has two HDMI inputs for two different sources. You can actually switch between sources on your video wall. Um, to control this unit, you just have to download the software from our website. You can access through the RS-232 to USB connection or the Ether connection. And so for today's example, we're actually using the RS-232 out of the unit into a uh, USB into the computer. And so let's dive in. All right, so jumping over our computer here, I already have our software program downloaded from our website. You can actually download it from the product page or from our download page on our website. I had, you might have it. You do have to extract it, and I would use WinRAR to extract that file. And just opening it up here, it's actually already picking up the signal. You can connect to it, um, like I mentioned, the UART, which is the USB, or the network connection. So I'm on the UART mode, and I'm gonna just hit find. There it is. As you can see, it already read all of our settings here, and blue lights mean that we are good to go. So this is our main page here. Um, and then you, we have two different inputs. We got HDA and HDB. Our first input is actually our Blu-ray player. As you can see, we have the Avengers going there. And then I'm gonna jump on over to our second, which is gonna be our PlayStation 4. And it gives a second, and look at that, switch it all over. And I think we're gonna put some, uh, and we're gonna, I think we're gonna put some Mortal Kombat on. There we go. So we got an Xbox and a Blu-ray player going right now. And to, to get that video wall set up, I already have it set up, but I'll backtrack a little bit to kind of walk you through how we did that. So you're gonna go to your video wall tab here, and you wanna make sure your rows and columns are two by two. Because if you do six by two, you hit set, it's gonna um, get this weird configuration. So you wanna make sure you do two by two, hit set. As you can see, our, we lost our video wall, that's totally fine, hit set. Hit yes, and it creates that your two by two video wall here. And then to create the video wall, you're gonna actually drag between all four screens a box, and then you're gonna right click it and go screen splicing. And as you can see, that pops up our video wall right away. As you can see on our video wall, all the TVs are in the right spot, but for some reason, if your TVs are out of order, all you have to do is right click here, hit cancel splicing, and then you just have to right click each screen, screen one, for example, and select uh, your output, HDMI output, because sometimes TVs are plugged into different outputs on the back of the unit, so you might have to just find which TV goes to which output, but you can make sure you can put that puzzle together pretty easily right there. So we're gonna recreate our video wall here, go right click, screen splicing, and there we are. So also, if you like to switch between your sources that goes on your video wall, you can easily do that by right-clicking here and doing input select, and you can select your second input, which is our Blu-ray player, or you can go to the switch tab, and you can actually switch it right here. So I'm just gonna do that one, two, three, four, to our other input, and then, and then our Avengers pop up. I'm just gonna hit play on here. Thanos is coming. Watch out for that snap. Also, as I mentioned, this unit has two HDMI loop outs. As you can see, we have them connected to our other TVs right here. And you can easily toggle uh, between them on our loop out input on the screen here, HDA or HDB. We're on HDB. If we go to HDA, it's actually gonna pull both of them over um, if you want. And this is for more for if you have a display or just an extra external monitor, you wanna view what your sources are, you can do that. We just happen to put it on these extra TVs that I have here. So I'm gonna go back to HDB. A always stays the same, it's B that actually is the one that changes. And as you can see, there's multiple tabs for adjust the video wall, the each input, output, whatever it may be. We have signal setting. This is where you can adjust, um, you can see your outputs on all the HDMI outs. You can also see your inputs on your sources there. Um, you could adjust uh, for each each window or each display, the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, 
And then going back to our video wall, one thing I wanted to mention is the bezel compensation correction. If, uh, if, the, if you're having issues with the bezel, you can easily adjust it with either bezel setting A, where you can um, tell how much pixels, for example, I'm gonna just put 30. If you need to adjust to remove some pixels there to compensate for that, I hit set and then it should fix the TV. Or B, or you can use bezel setting B where you can measure the width of the TV from the inside and outside of that bezel. Um, all right, and then I'll say one last thing, if you wanna get, um, you know, you wanna put your two sources on each TV, you can usually do that by hitting cancel splicing. As you can see, it's all in one, and then you go to your switch button here, and if I just wanna um, actually just put the two different sources on multiple TVs, you can do that as well, if you kinda of wanna um, see what both sources are, but you also have the loop out for that. So as you can see, it's really easy to set up using that control software. You have a lot of options. I just did a brief overview. Uh, if you have any questions or have any issues, feel free to uh, reach out to us at Tech Support. We're here to support you. Additionally, we also have a three by three video wall processor, the VW29. It's also in stock as well. And this is just the same exact unit, just has a little more outputs to support those nine TVs. If you have it, if you wanna have an even bigger video wall, same exact control software, same way to set it up, either RS-232 or Ethernet connections. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below. We'll hit you up as soon as we can. And don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And have a great day.